Hello guys, welcome back. Let's go through the multimodal rag using rank chain in this video. As you know that AI is moving fast and there are many things popping off here and there. And OpenAI has changed the game completely. But I created the video before about this extracting the things from the PDF or STM files using rank chain as well as the Llama index. And also I showed you one example of multimodal using the Llama index. But many of you mentioned that, okay, let's say that I have a PDF. In the PDF, I have text tables and images also. So how can I extract the information from the image also? I haven't pro created the video about that. But in this video, let's focus uh, that part. We are going to use the model that is being provided by OpenAI, which is the GPT-4 vision preview, right? This is the GPT-4 Torvo with vision model that they introduced last week. We will be going and utilizing this model in order to achieve our. So how the video will proceed, you can go through the documentations in your own time because there are different links provided, but we will be using the on structure. That is one of the really great tool to parse the images, text and tables from the documents. In our case, it's the PDF. So we are going to use the multi-vector retrieval and the Chrome out to store the raw text tables and images alongside the summaries. Before going through the code, I will explain picture first, just to give you the high level idea of what we are going to. Let me make this little bit bigger so you see what I'm doing. In the beginning, what I will show you is, for, this is the first part. What we will be doing is in the document, we have the PDF. We are going to use the on structure to get the images, tables and text from that particular PDF. And the next part would be, I'm going to go with this third option here. So the third option, what we will be doing here is first, as you can see here, there is the text embedding part. We will be getting the image summary. We will be getting the table summary as well as the text summary. When we get those things, what we do next is then store here. This is the vector database. We have the raw image. We have the raw table. We have the raw text as well as the summary that we extracted before. And then what we do in the retrieval part, let's say after this also, I will show you how the summary looks like and how we can extract the images. But we are talking about the retrieval augmented generation. So then I will show you how you can pass this. So this is the last part. So how we pass the image as well as the raw text and the tables into the multimodal LLM. We are passing that into the multimodal LLM and we get the answer in the natural language fashion. That is how we are going to proceed step by step. So yeah, now let's go through the code. Okay, the first thing first, we need to set up the environment. I don't need to explain this. Just run this code. When you install these things in order for us to work with the uh, images as well as how to process with the table things, we need two additional packages so if you are on the mac you can use brew or something like that but in the linux i'm using the sudo app get install popular utils and tesseract ocr here is the instructions how you can install in your particular machine once that is done or i'm using this watermark package this is really good package which helps us to know okay what are the system configs that we are using let's say the oes release machine everything as well as what is the uh, Python version, IPython version, and also the package version that we are using so that we know which one works better. They said that I'm using something here it, and I'm getting many questions that, okay, it works for you, but it doesn't work for me. Uh, which package version are you using or library version are you using? For that, if I provide it already here, then it's easier for you guys also to say, okay, this is the uh, version that you need to run. Once that is done, we need to now load the data. For this case, I'm taking this example from the language and documentation. So you can refer to this blog post where they have explained all the different three uh, scenarios which I explained you in this in this figure. You can go through that for in-depth documentation. But then we are going to use one example. I have downloaded that here, as you can see with this import URL request. This is the PDF file we are going to use. And I downloaded this, let's say that, and it's here, wildfire stats PDF. And then as this is the path PDF. Now what we are going to do, let me close this first. As I said you, we are going to use the on structure. That is the beauty of on structure. I'm enjoying this package a lot. I hope you do also explore this in depth. But what it 
a DOS is, let's say that we are creating a variable here, right? So we use the partition PDF and we pass that particular PDF file and we say, okay, extract images in PDF true. Uh, in for table strokes are also true. And the chunking is strategy. So we want to chunk by the title and maximum characters, maximum these things, and the image output directory path is the path, meaning that it should go into this particular content. For you, if you are using this locally or somewhere else, provide the path that you want it to be stored. Once this is done, as you can see here, it downloaded some models because it needs to go through this process. In order to go through this process, it needs to download some model and then do the thing that we want. Once this is done, as I showed you before also, uh, it extracted this one, two, three, four, five different images as we ex said here explicitly that, okay, image output in this particular part. Now this is done here, right? What we do next is categorize by type, meaning that now we have tables, we have images also, as well as text. Images, we store that in, but we also have the tables and the text. We want to distinguish that, right? Let's say in that way or categorize that. Once we run this piece of the code, what it does is there are two tables and there are five text chunks. I just want to display that. Okay, the table zero is, it shows here and text zero, it shows all the information. here. Now we extracted the image, we extracted the table and the text out of that particular PDF. Once that is done, the next part is now with the line chain. First, we use a multi-vector retriever for this. There is the link refer to that. That we first deal, we will be first going through the text and table summaries and then to the image summaries. What we do first is, yeah, just import necessary modules from here. And then we need the API keys because we are going to use the OpenAI's model, right? For that, you need to go to this particular URL and get the API keys and replace this one here, API keys. And the good part of LangChain is that they have this LangSmith where you can trace each and every call that you made to the large language model. It, it must not be just the OpenAI, it can be anyone, but you need to provide uh, this particular environment variables. If you are new to LangSmith, I have created videos already. Refer to that, how you can get this particular, particular environment variables. Once that is done, whatever now we run with the large language model is then traced into LangSmith. I will show you later how it looks like. Once this is done, now we provide just the prompt text and there is the summary chain, there is model that we are going to use. For this, I'm going to use the GPT-4. And by the way, this is how the LangChain expression language works. Again, if you are new to expression language from LangChain also, please refer to the documentation. So once this is done, what we can do is apply to the text. Typically, this is recommended only if you have large text chunk because now this PDF is not that big. So for text summaries, we don't need to provide this. So I'm just skipping that. But for the tables, because when we take the tables, it's just the table things, right? We don't have the summary. What we do is we pass that information, let's say the raw information that we get from the table and then we create the summary out of it, right? So yeah, this is what it does, summarize chain and we are passing that, the tables and it gets the summary. As you can see, we have two tables, that is, that is the reason we have two table summaries and the summaries looks like this. The table provides data on the number of fires and across bond from 2018 to 2022 and something like that. We extract the table again to reiterate and then we create the summary out of it. So yeah, this is the table zero, table summary zero, table summary one. This is how it works. Now, how to deal with the image summaries. That means that we have the image that we extracted, right? It is here, just to show you, uh, image one to five. Let's say that we have this image two. Let's open this. This is the image. What we need to do is we need to convert this. Let's say that we need to create the summary out of that. How we can achieve that? It is from the GPT-4 vision model. Here you can see that I'm encoding this first and then image summaries, I'm using the GPT-4 vision preview model and yeah, all the different things. This is just a normal piece of Python code. And then we have store base 64 encoded images first and then the, we have the store image summaries. When you run this piece of code, all the things that we want to achieve is being achieved, let's say in that way. And we have five different images, meaning that five different base64 
encoded and then this is how the encoded looks like but we need to now convert these encoded images into the images let's say that we want to view this how to do that this is the summaries and because i'm printing this because this is one this is one just to show you that okay this is the encoded version this is the summary that it creates but let's say what is the summary that it is creating from right we need to visualize that so this piece of code does that thing so as you can see here let me put this side step by step here so yeah so this is the summary and this is the image as you can see here this is just a chart let's say and there is two different things five thousands and there is this born millions and from 1993 to 2022 it shows here the, the this image features a composite line and area graph showing data over time from 1993 to 2022 this is two different things shown here let's say from 1993 until 2022 so it grabs the information out of that image once that is done it's easier for us now because we get the information from that particular image which it was not possible before right so this is really interesting thing happening here and just to show you that okay this is the another image that it get extracted now what we need to do this is the RAM, right and then now we need to store these things into the vector database in order to achieve that so we are using the chroma this piece of code it is just the normal things here i'm creating the vector store chroma give the collection name multimodal rag and i'm embedding the open ai embeddings the default model that they provide here the storage layer for the parent documents it is shown here storage in memory store and we just keep the id uh, key as the doc id and now this is how we we create the retriever first so now we store the raw text. This is just the normal things I've explained many, many times. You know that we need to store those things into the vector database. So here we are storing the raw text and tables in the doc store and store the table summary in the vector store. So this is as it from here. And then because we have the five different texts, so we have five different doc IDs and the summary text as well as tables, two tables. So the double summary tables is two. And now we store the images into the doc store, storing the image summaries into the vector store for semantic retrieval, right? So using the image in and sure synthesis with a multimodal LLM that I explained to you in the beginning in the figure. Once that is done, now we add the image summaries. This is added. As you can see here, we have five different images and this is the image summary that I showed you before. Once that is done, what is the next part? We need to now check the retrieval first before going through the rack part right so let's say that we want to retrieve some information i said here what is the change in wildfires from 1993 to 2022 so that is the question i passed that into the vector bit right and then as you can see here it gets four you might be confused how it gets this four because when we do the retrieval part we want the top four top three top one something like that right you can specify in the code i'm using the default code where four is being specified so we get the four different informations out of it so, and that can be images as well as the text just to show you here this this code is doing exactly that so it says okay if it is an image show me the image if there is the text show me the text kind of things so here image zero is this is what it extracted from there and just to show you that okay a length is images one image is being extracted and the text three texts are being extracted this is the image that i showed you here and then yeah zero one and two this is the text it extracted from there this is just showing you how it is extracted and what it is extracted kind of things okay now that is done as you can see here in this case one image and three text document is retrieved now let's go to the wrap part in order to use the React, as I said you before also, we are going to use the LangChain expression language and there are things called Ronable there. I'm not going to go through that now, but here is the link. Go through this and you can explore what is LangChain expression language. Here is the information that is provided. You can go through this. But yeah, here is the code. We first create a prompt a function and then we, as you can see here, uh, there is the human message and here is the thing that we have provided and here is the question and image so here by the way this we are just providing the answer because we know that and when we ask that question we have this zero so i am passing this image at zero because that is what we extract the images out of it right 
So if you see here, the images, and when I print here, I'm saying image at zero. We want to pass this into the rack, right? And then we have this model. We have the chat open AI, and we are using the GPT-4 vision preview. So yeah, that's what you do. And now you create the React pipeline. This is really good code here. As if we add the context as the retriever. Retriever meaning that I will show you here. Retriever is what we created that retrieves the information from the vector store, right? And then we have this runnable Lambda as the split image text types. If you remember now, this is what we created here, split image text types. It gets the images as well as the text. And then what we are passing here is the question now. So runnable pass through, meaning that we, we are passing the question when we invoke the chain. And runnable lambda is prompt function. As you can see here, this is the function that we created. And then the model, this is what the model that we created. And the string output parser, meaning that the output will be in the format of the string. This piece of code is doing, is going to do all the things for us. So yeah, once that is done, I'm just saying here, okay, chain.invoke, what is the ch change in the wildfires from 1993 to 2022? So it goes through the process. And then as you can see here, it says based on the provided context and the graph in figure one, right? The change in wildfires from 1990, this, this, this. So it is providing the information for us. That is how we provided the raw image as well as the text to the large language model, multimodal, let's say in that case. And it provides the natural language answer for us. So this is just a simple example that I want to show you. There are many ways how you can achieve the same things. There are many different frameworks also. And then OpenAI has changed the game. Maybe they will introduce something different there. I was thinking if this is if this can be implemented already in the retrieval part, but I didn't see that quite yet because in the in the assistant I was planning to create the assistant and the model. Uh, I see just the GPT-4 11.6 preview, but I didn't see the vision model implemented here quite yet. If you are uh, not that used to with the coding part, what I did here is in the OpenAI playground, I created assistant. By the way, if you are new to what is assistant kind of things, I have created a video earlier, refer to that. But I just created a simple assistant here and I provided the name, okay, multimodal GPT. I provided the instructions, okay, answer the question based only on the following context, which has include, which can include text, tables, and images. And I choose the one that I said GPT-11.6 preview because I, I didn't see the vision model here. If it was the vision, I hope it would get the answer here. But then I use the retrieval and I uploaded the same PDF file and I asked the same question. Okay, what is the change in wildfires from 1993 to 2022? It provided me the answer and it even provides the source here. So if I click here, but it gets the information from the text, not from the images because we didn't provide the images. But it provides the answer for us. But I hope if there is this possibility of using the GPT-4 vision preview model also already in the playground, it would be quite interesting. We don't know, maybe in the future, OpenAI can enable that also and we can run that. If that, then I will definitely create a new video about that. And last thing before I conclude this video, as I said to you that I want to show you the traces. Please go through my language with video, how to implement that into your current project. But as you can see here, there are many things that are popped up automatically here when I provide the API keys and the project name, which is Langchain Multimodal Period. So first thing first, it goes through all the steps. So if you click this one, it shows that, okay, what is the input? What is the output? The good part, what I find really interesting here, this is a little bit confusing. Okay, let me go to the traces again, not this one, but I think, so as you can see here, it even shows in the traces, the images. I was surprised this because they have mentioned in the in the blog post and also in the Twitter that okay we can now have the images also in the traces. I tried and it shows so I was quite impressed by this. And now as you can see here, the first one we we passed the first image and the second one was the second image, third was the third image, fourth, fourth image, fifth, fifth image. As you can see here, this is the input. Describe the image in details, be specific about graphs such as bar plots. And then this is the output that it is providing. As you can see, it's quite accurate. It is quite clearly extracting the information out of the particular images. That's great. And then the retrieval part, as you can see here, this is the input. What is the change in the wildfire? As you can see, this is the 
output that it provides. And the last one was the runnable that we run. You can see there are the good part of this. Let me make this bigger. Is that as you can see here, we we have used uh, what we have used inside the runnable. As you can even go one step further, there is the retrieval. There is this uh, split image text types. There is also the runnable pass through. There is the prompt function that we provided. All the information is being tracked into the traces. I think this is better in a way. I think just to show you this also. As you can see here, when we run this, there are different steps here, right? So first it goes through this parallel and then inside this it goes to the chain and there is the retrieval part and there is the split images part and then there is again the runnable pass through and then there is the prompt function and now the chat open AI large language model. So as you can see here, what it is happening here and what is the output it is providing and the last one is the, is the answer. So the good part also is, let me go to the main side here. And you can even know, okay, how many tokens are being used. Let's say that this is all in each of the different traces, how many tokens are being used. You can hover on top of it. And let's say that it uses 27,242 prompt tokens and 153 completion tokens. Time to first token is not available, but you can just see, okay, what is the latent, all the different. You can do many things from Langsmith. As I said before, also watch my videos and also many videos out there. And Langchain themselves has also provided some a video tutorials in YouTube. You can follow that. But yeah, that's all for this video. I hope now you get the idea of how to extract the information. And because in, in many documents, we have images. And that's how we read the provided reports, right? But having the images, tables, text, everything, using that and getting the information, that's really a fantastic job. So I hope you will enjoy this also. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.